Frances Ellen Watkins Harper, born September 24, 1825, was an African-American abolitionist, poet, and author. Born free in Baltimore, Maryland, she had a long and prolific career, publishing her first book of poetry at age 20 and her first novel, the widely praised Iola Leroy, at age 67. In 1851, alongside William Still, chairman of the Pennsylvania Abolition Society, she helped escape slaves along the Underground Railroad on their way to Canada. She began her career as a public speaker and political activist after joining the American Anti-Slavery Society in 1853. Poems on miscellaneous subjects became her biggest commercial success. Her short story, Two Offers, was published in the Angelo African in 1859. She published Sketches of Southern Life in 1872. It detailed her experience experience touring the South and meeting newly freed Blacks. In these poems, she talked about the harsh conditions many of them lived in. After the Civil War, she continued to fight for the rights of women, African Americans, and many other social causes. In 1894, she helped found the National Association of Colored Women and served as its vice president. Because of her many magazine articles, she was called the mother of African American journalism. Frances Ellen Watkins Harper died February 22, 1911, nine years before women gained the right to vote. My name is Aviera Johnson, and this is your moment in Black history.